hey guys welcome back to women in academy this is a video i'm gonna be explaining the action bar that i gave last time for free so i'm gonna explain some of the things on the action bar by doing an actual picture i've added uh, another action for the black background which is just a click away just click and it fix up your background so let's get started so let's just start with this picture we're going to create this picture it's a portrait shot on a nikon d800 uh, with a 50 millimeter two light setup three light setup two in front one in the back as you can see there's a rim light over here that's a three light setup as you can see so let's just open this picture the highlights are okay the whites are okay i just want to leave it like that so let's open the picture just like that i'm gonna share you this raw file so you can edit along you can try it out so we're gonna be using this action bar so let's just change it to buttons you can change it to button if you want button mode so it will appear like this okay so the first thing you want to do is the background i know the black background can be very difficult for a lot of people that that's what i know because for me i have struggled to work on the black background as you can see this one is really dirty but we're gonna just gonna use this action it's gonna do its magic let me show you just click here black background i'm gonna fast forward a bit because it might take a little bit of time to load this is it loading but i think it's okay let's just fast forward it okay it's downloading it's done its thing as you can see it's clean it's clean clean background it is meshed up the layers so it's time to do the retouch uh i named this ADD knee high because i used to use it ADD, but it works for all pictures mostly it's just for upper body pictures not portrait portrait but something like nia like this framing works perfect so we're just gonna click here ADD nia we're gonna be using this section bar for everything it's loading it's a bit faster so we're not gonna fasten it up okay so as I usually say, there are two ways of retouching. If they want to use a brush, just take a white brush and start shading. After using this uh, third layer, you can just start shading. Already started its retouch, but that's not my way of retouching. I don't like that one. I like the mixer brush. You can just copy the settings of the mixer brushes they are on top i think i did a video on, the, on how to use a mixer brush i like the mixer brush it gives a really nice gradient when you do your retouch uh, so let's do this so what you want to do just want to go back and forth back and forth back and forth back and forth as you see it's blending it's actually retouching right now blending Uh, the shortcut uh, of uh, of adjusting your brush fast you can use the brackets just brackets up brackets down Did you change your I don't know if they're called brackets I'll put a caption on the screen on how to use how to change your brush faster like I'm doing here I don't have to go like up here and change the brush no i'll show you a shortcut you can do on the keyboard so that you can use your brush faster okay and getting a really nice picture over here when i do the whole process to lightroom what i do i edit my pictures in I attach my pictures in Photoshop, then I finish up with Lightroom. So for this one, we're gonna do it just like that. We're gonna finish it off in Lightroom. Okay. They see our pictures coming out. Then we're doing a really good job in the only using the action bar we did the retouch with the action bar we did the background with the action bar 
check out the result. Let's just fix up the lips a bit. Let's fix it up. You wanna make sure that you don't mix, like you don't overdo it. You just wanna blend the colors. Yes, you wanna blend the colors so that you don't overdo it. See, you just wanna blend the colors. That's like that. Be careful with your brush movement. It's the one which gives you uh, better results. The brush movement. Okay. I don't know if you're liking it now. Check it out. 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 We are getting some really, really good results. Okay. Let's fix up the hands. Be careful of your movement. You wanna move with the light. You don't wanna do it like opposite like this. No, you wanna do that to give a weird look. You just wanna move with the light. Move with the light like that. So that it 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 remains uh looking smooth, I think. Yeah, like that. That's easier. You get used to it the more that you do it, so you have to practice so that you get really used to it. But it's really easy using the mixer brush. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. We get some really good results here. Very good results. Okay. Let's just fix up here. Yeah. Some really good results are getting here. Bit difficult to edit a person with a tattoo, mostly when you when you want to do a retouch, it's a bit difficult. So we're just gonna retouch the parts which we can try to retouch. But I think we are doing a good job. What do you think? We're doing a good job. Let's just wanna fix up this elbow. It's too dark. Just wanna fix it up. Blend the color here, a bit like that. Okay, yeah, it's too dark. It's too dark. Okay, let me show you a trick. Let me apply another action now, and I'll show you how you can lighten up there. Okay, let's go on the upper layer. Let's click sharpness. Sharpness. Your picture is sharp. Your picture is sharp. Okay. So you want to match the layers? Just click match. Match, just match your layers. Okay. Oh, okay. So the next thing I want to show you how to lighten up where it's dark over here. So what you want to do, you want to take your brush, uh, select the color, like this light part. Sorry, 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 sorry. Let me just fix up something. My selection tool is on the another another screen. Okay, let's see you now. Okay, you want to select the color where it is light. Then you go on to mode, select lighten. Where is it? Lighten. Yeah, lighten over here. Bigger brush. I'll lower your opacity. Lower it, lower your flow. Then you just wanna just like that. Let me do another layer on top, sorry. But selection over here. It has to be selected the second color instead of the first one. Okay, like that. So what you wanna do is just click here, here, click. Let me show you before and after. Before, after, just like that. You're lighting up. before after then we good they just match these layers okay what next on our action bar eye whitening let's do eye whitening where is it here eye whitening now it creates this folder you want to open it go to the black part select your white brush let's put our brush back to normal okay normal so 
one brushed white parts just like that just like that then yeah it works for the teeth too that same action okay you're done you just close this match it match this okay what's the next one action bar i think most people didn't notice it when i sent it but there's a color grading filter over here let's click it check it out before after before after this picture looks good already i don't know if we can take it to lightroom and just adjust a bit but we've done the job so what you can do you can actually reduce it. if it's too much the filter you can reduce it to your liking maybe you like it darker you can put it dark maybe like 50 percent but before after before after we did a really good job on this one guys you have to try this we all made it filter inspect uh, is a color lookup in the levels layer that's it inside but it does the job okay, let's match the layer and go to lightroom here we're done so i save as psd save as Let's create a new folder. I edited two. Great. Then save. Okay. Okay, guys. Welcome to Lightroom. We're going to do a few adjustments. Not too much, but we already did. We will make it filter in in Photoshop. So. They just do a little, a little adjustment just little just do the cap to cap to click your points three points we just want to boost this part this part this part just that part uh i think our vibrant is okay let's i not pump up i i pump up sharpness guys i don't want to line up because it's sharp because i pump up sharpness like that like that like that then increase the radius like that i pump up my sharpness i don't have much to do on the lightroom but i use it for my exportation so i'm gonna leave it like that already looks good let's export it okay one, two we're done we're done we're done we're done we're done i'm gonna uh put the link to the finished file on the raw one if you want to try it out you try it on your own guys thank you for watching my youtube video please keep on supporting i have a uh, whatsapp group uh, for my academy i'll put the link in the description below uh i think that's it i'll share the the action bar also on this video i'll put the link for the action bar my handles and everything my whatsapp uh, my whatsapp link i'll share everything just down below guys thank you for watching stay tuned